you know, this is a very, very hard topic for me, especially being a union leader. Yes, do we know this pandemic has been something unprecedented for all of us and all of our lives. But guess what? Just like with the Spanish flu back in the early 1900s, what happened? The third wave came. Everybody said we need to continue with our lives. And you know what? Our lives have been shattered. All I really need to say today is just with the speakers, with Senator Lanza, Senator Ort, <clears throat> um, just to say ditto. Really, what more can I say? But look what is happening to our lives. You know, mandates, I will never be for mandates. Guess what? Mandates are government control. We don't need to have government tell us how to live our lives for our future. My children right now, my daughters especially, are frightened. They are so frightened that they got to sit there and say, Dad, what am I supposed to do? I want to go to college to another school, and I have to have a mandate that I need to be vaccinated. Dad, I know what I need to do. I know what I have to do to make sure I protect myself. I'm healthy, Dad. This is our future that I have to go with, with my family to go sit there and say, I don't know what to tell you because there's a mandate. Governor Hochul, stop hiding behind the commissioner of health. You're the one that's controlling this. I'm a union leader. A union leader protects jobs, not lose jobs. I won't be a union leader if that was the case. I've always been a voice for the people. I am appalled. This is unacceptable that people are losing their jobs and to hear that foreign workers and out-of-state workers are going to take jobs away from us. It's the backbone. Labor is the backbone of the whole economy and our future for our, our families. I've been there going and making sure, bringing bringing food to our healthcare workers to thank them when everything was gone because they were our heroes. They went to zeros, Governor Hochul. They'll always be my hero. Always. I'm sorry I'm shouting, but I'm passionate about things because this is serious. These are people's careers. I went to an apprenticeship program with the union, very proud when I graduated. These people got their RNs. Tom Downley and his wife, both, both got their RN degrees, very excited, started a family, okay? Bought a house on Long Island, very difficult. Need two, um, two salaries. Tom Downley and, and Dawn, both are really proud. Three children, to raise three children on Long Island. They have to move to Florida? Governor Huckle, come out here and tell me to my face. These people have to move to Florida. Guess what? Medical exemption, religious exemption. This man right here put the religious exemption in. What is it? He's not sincere enough. That's what comes back? He put the exemption in. Florida has the exemption. Guess what? They look at it. Guess what? You could go to work. What, is, what are we doing? Every day I wake up, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. I said, this cannot be real, what is happening to us. This is wrong. To go and have foreign workers, to go and have out-of-state workers to take our jobs, there's a reason why we're declining the numbers. And states like Tennessee, Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina are, ta are taking our talent away. We have talented people. Now, how do we know what we're going to get in our hospitals with people that are coming from other countries and other states? Are they qualified? Tom Dowling and his wife and his sister-in-law all lost their jobs. This man right here, right now, is using anything that he has. He has to sell his house. His home is up for sale, Governor Hochul. You could do this right now. I am pleading with you. This is not fair. Thousands, tens of thousands of people right now have to find a new career or move out of state. A career, guess what, Governor Hochul, when you got that law degree, weren't you a proud day? Just like with this man when he got his RN degree. Proud day in his life. Just like it was a proud day for everybody standing here. But what? To be crushed. To be crushed. Seriously. This is something very, very serious as a labor leader. And it's totally unacceptable that these people are losing their jobs, not just our healthcare workers. What about the cleaners? What about the food prep? 
What about administration? And people are frightened if they speak up. But you know what? This man right here that's going to come up and speak, he's not frightened to speak up. He is here today, came up from Long Island. You know what? Last night, because he knows what? He's going to be a voice. I have always been a voice. I will challenge anybody. As a union leader, I'm not frightened. Dealt with a lot of people. And guess what? I will call you out, and then I'll have a cup of coffee with you later on. Because when I'm right, I'll go for the juggle of aim. And right now, this is so, so important that we get these people back to work, and we don't need out-of-state or foreign workers to take our jobs away from New Yorkers. And you know what? When you go, and I go to all these rallies, and you know what? When the healthcare workers are standing there, because right now they go, send them to Matera. What can we do? What can we do? I said, you know what we could do? Get the right people in office that are going to hear our voice. And that's what we're going to do. And you know what? This past election, especially on Long Island and up in New York, it went loud and clear. That's what? We're sick and tired. We want the right people that are going to take care of us and our families. All right? And that's what needs to, be ha that needs to happen. But right now, Governor Hochul, you can fix this and get these people their jobs back and not sit there and be interrogated. On the paper, it says it's going to be interrogation. That's what it is. Why, why can't it say an interview? An interrogation? What are we about? This isn't the America that I was brought up with. And you know what? And nobody here, and even Governor Hochul, which I thought it was going to be a little difference. Do I see when she has her necklace on, it says vaxxed? I didn't buy that for my wife for Christmas. But all I can just tell you is, I don't, know, not, I don't know what that means. People are frightened, especially right now, especially right now, when you're sitting there and you need to get a booster, okay? That's where people don't understand.